This is Mission Control Houston. Wednesday, a short work day on, in space for the Expedition 33 crew on board the International Space Station. That was following up a longer than usual day on Tuesday for Commander Sonny Williams, Flight Engineer Yuri Malenchenko, and Flight Engineer Aki Hoshide as they were supporting the planned departure of one of the station's cargo vehicles. The uh, planned undocking of the automated transfer vehicle that was aborted on Tuesday afternoon due to a failure of communications between the Russian Zvezda module and the ATV itself. The uh, mission control team in Moscow has uh, understood what caused that error and are prepared to uh, support another undocking attempt of the ATV as soon as a determination is made about when that will happen. In the meantime, flight control teams here in Houston have also been tracking a piece of Russian Cosmos satellite debris that is uh, currently uh, considered a, a possible conjunction with the International Space Station at about 9.42 Central Time on Thursday morning. The uh, flight teams in Houston have been given instruction to begin planning for a possible debris avoidance maneuver, which would take place early Thursday morning at approximately 7.12 Houston time. A, and the undocking of the ATV, another attempt at undocking the ATV, would not be made until Friday at the earliest. For the uh, crew members themselves, they had an abbreviated day. They were allowed to sleep in since they were up late on Tuesday. Flight uh, Commander uh, Sunny Williams spent part of her day pre-packing items for return on board the Dragon spacecraft, the commercial cargo vehicle that's targeted for its first operational mission to the space station next month. She also spent time inspecting portable fire extinguishers and breathing apparatus and wrapped up the day stowing materials from Monday's maintenance work when she uh, replaced some valves in the carbon dioxide removal system. Yuri Malenchenko spent uh, his morning working with a Russian experiment called Pneumocard. That's an investigation of the factors that cause changes in blood circulation, heart function, and respiration on orbit. He also took note of all of the crew's activities for Russian experiments on crew interactions, as well as took care of regular maintenance in the Russian segment of the space station. For flight engineer Aki Hoshide, he uh, started off his day setting up hardware for operations with the uh, Sprint VO2 Max investigation, which is actually a combination of two experiments. Uh, Sprint is looking at how high-intensity exercise can help minimize bone and muscle loss for the crew members. The VO2 max measures the changes in the crew member's oxygen uptake. Hoshide also started the depressurization of the airlock in the Kibo module for planned operations with the Small Satellite Orbital Deployer which will test a new system for deploying a series of small satellites from the external facility of the uh, Kibo module with the help of the Japanese robotic arm. The small satellite orbital deployer operations are probably going to be postponed. They will uh, fall victim to the uh, current planning that is underway for a possible debris avoidance maneuver. A decision made on whether or not that debris avoidance maneuver will be conducted is expected late in the day on Wednesday.